Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to run GTA 5 and play it with Script Hook 5 and everything without and like being able to play GTA 5 without updating the game. I am making this tutorial specifically because of the fact that GTA 5 just recently updated and so this is how you play it without having to update your game and still getting to use all of your mods. So this is literally super easy. You don't have to download anything, manipulate any files or anything. You just do one thing and it's very simple. And so all you have to do is come down here to Steam, open it up, and we're just gonna give this a second to open. Two thousand years later. And then after that, this shouldn't probably won't pop up for you, but um for me I am in offline mode already, but all you're gonna do is you're gonna open up steam normally and i'm assuming you guys wouldn't have the pop-up because you most of you guys would be playing it in online mode but um yeah so you're just once you open steam all you got to do is you're going to come up here to steam and then instead of going saying it won't say go online it's going to say like open steam in offline mode or go offline or something along those lines you're going to click that and then next time you run it so then it will open in offline mode and then that's literally it that's all you got to do you just come up here switch to offline mode and then run the game now because you're in offline mode you can't run it through steam you have to minus out of steam and then run gta 5 for your desktop icon so you're going to double click in here and the game will run just as if nothing ever happens so I'll show you guys real quick just to show you guys that it does work. No downloads, nothing. Just one simple button press in Steam and you don't have to deal with these updates. Of course, this is only something that you can actually use if you are like a single player only kind of person when it comes to GT5. If you're really only planning on playing single player mode and not online, then this works perfectly for you. But if you want to be playing online a lot in this game, then this is probably not going to be the most ideal of, of a solution for you. But I play single player pretty much only, and so this is what works best for me because I don't have to change anything. I just press one button. I thought I would show you guys this because I think it's super fast and easy, and it's got to be the most simple and reliable way. And just ignore this. It says that it's still going to load just fine. Don't worry about it. Still going to connect to your account. Nothing different is going to happen besides the fact that it's just going to load you straight into story mode. Also, I don't know if this really makes a difference, but besides this, I also went into Steam and then went into my game properties on GTA 5 and I changed the launch code. I clicked on the launch code button and then I entered in SC offline only. So when you run the game, it's just going to immediately put you in story mode without any option of going to online. Now, I don't know if this is actually a working thing, but I just put it, put that code in there anyways, because I read it somewhere on the internet and I was like, hey, I want to put that in the launch code. So I did that and it does this. So I don't know, you guys can try it out without doing the launch code thing and let me know if it still does the same thing and looks the same. But for me, I, I just put that in and it's doing this. I'm pretty sure it'll work either way, so. But yeah, so, I'll just give this a second and wait until we're in-game. This is, it, it's really as simple as that. You just switch Steam to offline mode and then run GTA 5 through your desktop shortcut icon. And it will put you in story mode as if nothing ever changed. It will be as simple as that. It's very easy. It's much, much faster and much easier than some of the other solutions out there on YouTube. And this one actually works 100% of the time. And you don't have to download anything. That's the best part. It's stuff you already have. Now, if you have this game on Epic Games, I honestly don't know what to tell you. You might have the option for offline mode in Epic Games, but I really only know stuff about Steam because all my games are on Steam. I have some Epic Games games, but I don't mod on those. So it's a bit different. But if you're a Steam user, this should work perfectly fine for you. All right, and as you guys can see, I am in game with the previous version. I am not on the latest version of GTA 5, and I am still playing it in single player with all my mods, as you can see. Menu mod, there. Everything is here. So yeah, 
If this helped you guys out, then please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. That would help me out a lot. As well as like the video if this did work for you. But yeah, just thought I'd share this. Hope this helped. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And have a great day.